That is true. Right on. <laughs> on. Mine was true. purple. That is true. Mine was uh, the exact same purple and the exact same turquoise that's in our overlay. Mm. Well, that's right. I'll be damned. Yeah, it comes around full circle. Yeah, I think it was the, the, the same purple. Yeah, the same purple that, that, that surrounds the like, comment, subscribe shit. It was that purple. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, I think I still got the fucking shoe. <laughs> that's why I put that in our thing. Like, that's why the colors be that now. Like, that's just, it's just, I like that, that color, the way they lay on each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you hear that, Tobit? You hear that, Tobit? Yeah, that's the vibes we on tonight, baby. The yeah. store will be back open next Thursday. The store will be open. Well, yeah. matter of fact, next Wednesday, uh, next Thursday, Wednesday night. Yeah. The store will be back open. Um, I have my my actual domain name is back up again, so I had to change it and shit, so I can go right back to trayclothing dot com and keep that shit. So. Mm-hmm. Damn right. Uh, what's going on with the website? I had that rocking in a minute. Uh, I don't know what the hell up with that. Something that happened since I done over my account and got locked in my Apple ID and but, all that. But unbeknownst, thing, uh, uh, we still have stuff. What? Because I forgot all about Facebook. Code. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Not all about that shit. I tried signing into the um the arch the partners club the um partnership the um motor store because everything for the um archway clothing is under the partnership. So I tried logging into that shit, but logged into the the facing code. I was like, hold up, this shit still here? Oh shit! <laughs> what so is that? Shit here too? <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. So I'm gonna see if I can hey. try to merge them shit, or at least take take some designs from the face and go and put that shit over there with our trench clothing. Hey, can I just say something, yo? Mm-hmm. Yes, you can. This, 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 yo, this, this begins, yo. That shit, yo. This begins it, yo. This begins the push of year three early, yo. Like I told y'all, it, I, I'm on some shit. We we about to get it in. Like pod and live streaming, all that. Like we about to get some work in. So I hope y'all niggas is ready. I hope y'all is getting y'all schedule settled. Cause once we uh merge these shits, man, this shit about to be uh like super Voltron. Like, oh shit, niggas ain't ready, boy. On the live stream tonight, nigga about to smoke a blunt. Mm-hmm. About, Me too. Like. I'm about to drink a good one. Boy, it's about to be a it's about to be a rap. Like it, it's tears, tears from now. Oh, niggas! I hope the pod squad is ready because it's about to get wild. I, I, I really, yeah. I hope y'all don't get annoyed because, uh, yeah. Well, what? I don't know, but y'all know me. <laughs> I get and belligerent and. Y'all Nigga, I wasn't meant to help people all goddamn day. I don't think it's shit that no one person gonna do that knowing me no more. <laughs> I hopped in, I had to hop in this lady bed today to keep her from beating this other lady ass. Okay, hold on. Yeah, Where I had to go sit around the bed and hold her on the bed like, come on, lady, come come on, Renee. no, no, Renee, nope, it, it, it's all right. Let I'm this shit go. Let this shit go. Yeah, she was in the bed, and you know how you know how nigga push you off, and you waking up, and you sitting up out the bed, and you getting up, and you like nigga, what the fuck? I had to I had to get in it, get on this lady bed, and hold her on the bed. Come on, lady, come on now, no, no. I, I may be tainted by like the Me Too movement or something, but I just imagine that being a big wise thing moment. Where you, I just in my head, I just see you riding this lady like, come on, calm down. And then somebody coming in the room like, hey, no, it ain't what it looked like, hey. Hey uh-huh. no, she was wild. No, hey, hey, no, no, oh, no. Mm-mm. You understand? Mm-mm. If you knew, if you knew, if you knew this lady, they would they would applaud me because if this motherfucker got up, it was gonna take at least ten motherfuckers to get her back down. Oh, because she is, oh, she is right. like, 
she's like uh you remember how Mac he's the uh McCoy's to be with his little size and shit? Mm -hmm. Oh little little cannonball. She she like a a, a five foot eight version of that. Oh no. But yeah, so I had to get her before she got to her feet. <laughs> No, who wants to see that? I won't, go, I won't go take her by myself when she got to her feet. So like, I got to get you on balance right now before you get to your feet on the bed. But any momentum, mm -hmm. that's unstoppable. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but the lady she was going at, I can say the lady she was going at, she had to reach, but she ain't had no, if, if the one I was trying to hold got to moving, she wouldn't have had no chance in that reach. I'm sorry. Oh, hell no. It was a freight train coming. Well, thank God you were there. That's a blessing. Yes, Lord. <laughs> you looking extra cool over there but with I your vibes. To one girl. Oh, I yeah, to baby. Oh, one psycho ass girl over. I, I got the Tizzes world sign on the way. It'll be oh. in a few weeks. Oh, Hopefully. oh, you know what? Because I, I, be, I be getting notifications from the partners of the partner's uh, Gmail, too. So I was like, I thought somebody hacked my shit. I was like, who the fuck ordering shit? That's who, me, who? baby. That's me. <laughs> I was like, you know, I had to technology back to the school, so I had to re-up. So I had to get a computer. I had to get a phone. I had to get true like, and shit, because all my shit was, you know, obviously PC-related, so I had to get dongles and shit for that. For the Mac and you know, just a whole shit. And then I wanted to get the sign. I had to get the black screen so I could black this shit out. So when I put the neon sign up, it looked right. Now I told you, man, I'm taking this podcast shit seriously this year, bro. Like I, I got that. The leaving my job was the best shit that ever happened to me, yo. Mm. I, I got a nice check from it. So that was able to, that allowed me to pay all my bills for a year. So I'm able to just stack bread from the little job or whatever. But I'm able to like really focus in and like get this podcast shit that I wanted to be, yo. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to like set it up so like when you come through, Pat, when the face come down, when we have like a guest or something that's here, we can have it live and it actually look like something. Yeah. My next big purchase is like what I want for Christmas, but I'm gonna see how how my money looking. I'm a, I want a re, I want a real nice camera, mm. somewhere I can set that shit back and I can have like a full set where like I can have room for two people to be here and the shit look right and you can see everybody and the shit being clear and you know all that shit. But. We about to about to do this shit to the max this year, bro. Like I, I really feel good about the new year, and yeah, and face is frozen like shit. Yep. <laughs> oh. I just say that, but uh, yeah, but that's where I'm at with it right now, man. And uh, we up in this bitch, yo. Like I, I'm, I'm really excited about tonight. Uh, I feel good about this double night. Uh, pod squad, if you're listening to this right now, whatever, know that uh. This is an epic night here. We are doing a podcast and a live stream right after this. So if you happen to, you know, catch this, go check out our YouTube page and check out the live stream we did that we did right after this. Should be interesting because we're going to be sleepy and we're going to be loopy and we're going to be bent and it's going to be crazy. And it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be one of them. And we ain't did one in a long time. So I have no idea what to expect from these videos because, uh, yeah. You give face and pet time to do anything, it it it, it, it gets crazy. Mm -hmm. You go crazy, but it still gets crazy. Like they, they you you let their minds work. Ain't no telling what we about to come up with. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, I ain't gonna hold this because uh we do we are on a schedule. Face will be back in in a second. But what's up, guys? <laughs> Shit. Oh, Welcome to the partner. Show with three friends separated by distance, connected by brotherhood, having weekly conversations that you can join in on. And as always, I am one third of the partners, your boy Tiz, and I'm along with. Yep, it's the Padawan here, the other third of the partners, the intergalactic one, if I could actually say the word without stumbling. Anyway, um, I really just. I'm really just holding y'all up to see if this will work and just do a dramatic pause. So magically face will kick in at the right time and i think he did all right here's the other third of the partners 
<laughs> soon as he pressed that button, <laughs> he's right there. He's we're there. So close. I promise you, he's there. You see, you see, you see KJ in the house, so you know he's there. He just taking his time. Um, but when he pop in and he say his thing, you know, we'll we'll What's stop. Going on, in the meantime. What's going on with it? 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 The podcast gods are on our side. What's good, face my babe? There's a delay. Give him a second. It's face my niggas. <laughs> There's obviously a delay. What's good though, bro? How y'all be, man? How y'all doing this week? How's everybody feeling? Uh, I know we kind of got into it before the intro, but what's up with y'all, man? How, how What's good in y'all lives this week? What's the best thing that's happened this week? What's going on with it, man? Yeah. How y'all living? Yeah. Uh, best thing. I started House of Dragons. <sighs> My nigga. What episode are you on? I'm on, I'm on, I'm halfway between the second episode, man. I ain't got that far, but I got it going. I finally got my damn uh, HBO Max back. So if you, watch, if you watched episode one, then you've already started the process. Trust me. Like, yeah, I was like, this shit is kind of crazy. Picks up at like episode three, yeah. but episode one already introduced you to a lot of crazy shit that they're going to be doing. So you were mm -hmm. like, you were and like, then I said, I'm not. To I'm not as familiar as with Game of Thrones as everybody else, but with it being a prelude and like something in the past, I was like, I can get right into it and it won't be like it won't go over my head. You know what I'm saying? And then the beautiful, if, the beautiful shit about it is that if you haven't seen Game of Thrones, it's a good entryway into Game of Thrones because it's actually mm -hmm. kind of. And then when you watch Game of Thrones, a lot of the family names and shit will make more sense and you'll kind of understand, oh, that's why these people are tied together, et cetera. Mm -hmm. If you have watched Game of Thrones, it's a great way to like kind of see like, oh, that's why these people were warring or that's why these people were the way they were. So it's like no matter where you – no matter – yeah, no matter what your entry point is as far as whether you've seen Game of Thrones or not, it's a good standalone – and it's a good entryway into Game of Thrones if you was kind of like, I don't really know. Because to me, it's better than Game of Thrones as far as like the actual like the characters and the like the way they flushing out the plot. Like this is a shorter story than the actual Game of Thrones story. Like the, the shit that happened in Game of Thrones was actually like longer than eight seasons. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. That's just like that was that went on for years. Yes. This story was actually only like over a course of a few years, and it was it was like a shorter book. But yet, it's the way they're doing it. You could tell like they're going to get at least eight nine seasons out of this, mm -hmm. taking their time. But they setting up everybody real dope, and and it's just you get dragon fights, my nigga. Mm, that too, and then and then it's it's like a hundred and seventy years before it really happened. They could put it like they could do so many versions of that. Before it actually happened, like they supposed to be. If I'm <laughs> if I'm in there correctly, they supposed to be coming out with a Jon Snow. Uh, I heard, yeah, like a follow up to what happens in Game of Thrones, which I appreciate because they need to kind of make the continuity between House of Dragons to like his story kind of makes less sense now with House of Dragons. But I'll let you figure that out as you get more into it. But yeah, true, true. Anyway, man, yeah, how you doing, Face? What was the best thing that happened to you this week? What, what was the best part of your week? Uh, the best part is I kept waking up to be alive. That's the best well, part. That's what start. The best uh, part. Uh, uh, second best had a great work week. No complaints. Got an extra day in there, so that's extra money on the check. Also, always good. And it was an extra easy ass day, so great. Um, no real issues with none of my patients, so that's always good. Found a good, well, I ain't gonna say a good show. I found a good series on Netflix, just deep diving into some history shit. Uh, you know me and my weird shit. Uh, yeah, y'all out there, y'all like that shit. Uh, well, I forgot what it's called. I think it's um, Ancient Apocalypse or some shit like that. Um, with um, mm -hmm. Graham Norton. If y'all ever watch the um, the Joe Rogan podcast, Graham Norton is the um, a frequent guest of the Joe Rogan podcast. He's real big Not on crazy. history. Um, 
he's not a archaeologist per se, but he's a um, what some people call a pseudoscientist, which I don't agree with. I agree with um, a lot of the stuff, stuff he says and a lot of the um, hypotheses he hypotheses he puts out there based on history. Um, the main thing he goes around and looks at is um, all these new ancient um, civilizations that are being dug up. And especially the history and um, the timeline, because we know we all know that um, basically most of archaeology and archaeologists base um, our history or base man's history based on like six thousand years ago. They say that's where it started, but these things that are being found around the world have timelines up to twelve thousand years ago and, and and further than that. So that's putting man at a um, basically a technical a technological advanced society thousand years ago, huh? Who said we started six thousand years ago? Most um, like like not as far as the human race, but as far as technology and, and technology and uh, doing major shit, building building mega buildings and shit like that. They say like most of our shit started like basically six thousand years ago or been dated to six thousand years ago. But with places like Gobekli, go, let me get it right because this shit is confusing to say. Gobekli go Tepe. Places like Gobeble Tepe have been um, dated to like 12,000 BC. You feel me? So that's obviously going further beyond what most the, um, how he said, the scientific community is based, it all had their opinions around. It's based on that 6,000 BC shit, shit around there. But everything he's finding is double that or more. He's finding a lot of shit in the Mesoamerican um, areas. Uh, he's with the, a lot of different continents and a lot of different shit he's finding is real, real interesting. So, I mean, y'all into that type of shit? Check that shit out. That shit cool to me. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check. I, I was trying to check it out last night. <laughs> I went to sleep like shit. Um, oh, smoke, I, smoke, I, smoke I, a good when they watch that shit. You feel me? I, I, I went from Joe Rogan to the. I went. I was looking at a Joe Rogan episode or from that shit, and then yeah, Rogan people because you know he did have Alex Jones yeah. on there. So, you know, yeah. yeah, I had to deep dive on the shit and, and watch the shit. But I fuck with I fuck with the shit and the shit he's saying is some real shit. Because I mean, just some, some common sense shit. Okay, if if motherfuckers are saying won't nobody around and we won't doing shit twelve thousand years ago, or motherfuckers saying okay, everybody was hunter get hunter gatherers then, and everybody was hunter gatherers. Okay, so you said these hunter gatherers just woke up one day and decided okay, now we know how to be architects and we are gonna build these great monolithic buildings and build these societies. No, motherfucker, that shit comes yeah. with time. You feel me? That shit, that knowledge and shit comes with a progression through time and history. So, but if you look at humans and just the time of history, and if we go by what the the masses say, so we were cavemen up until what point, and then technology just boomed off. No, motherfucker, like it was some shit before that. So, I mean, the basis of what they're trying to say. It's like it was an advanced society up until twelve. Uh, I, don't don't quote me on the exact the exact date, but they say I think it was eleven thousand six hundred years ago, eleven thousand six hundred BC, some shit like that. Mm -hmm. It was uh, multiple cataclysms on the Earth that changed changed the the face of the planet and erased a lot of different civilizations back then. But the argument is like. Okay, so where where are all their where's their trash? Where's their stuff like this? Where's their stuff like? But my my thing is when people say that you're thinking like a common man now, based on our society, our mm -hmm. society, our culture <clears throat> can't be compared or shouldn't be compared to something that's up to twelve thousand years ago. You feel me? Because anything we have now can't be compared to that. But if you look True. at the structures and the shit they could be able to do. Don't want no common ass mentality people, or there's no common man back then doing the shit they did. Because I mean, if you anybody Google go beble tepe, tepe is spelled just like I said, go beble tepe. Google that shit. Go beble tepe. <laughs> go yeah. beble tepe. The shit was perfect, and whoever, whatever society made that shit, they purposely built it over. They purposely covered it over. The G O K L E I. T this, or something like that. This mm -hmm. this is the part of the podcast where we ask uh, the question: Can <coughs> Padawan pronounce it? I'm gonna say, <laughs> uh, go go do the research play. on it. I, I'm gonna reach. I'm gonna definitely look into oh, it. Oh yeah, go baby. Uh, go a grain of salt, just because of go table. I I, I don't know. 
right, I take it even, even further because motherfuckers always thought you Watch know Atlantis is big, big shit. So he was talking about Atlantis on the shit too. He briefly he briefly spoke about Atlantis just on some old just whistle this shit, but the story of Atlantis. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually based on facts. We know that the story of Atlantis, like the 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 earliest tale we have in written history, is was it Plato? Plato told the story of Atlantis or whatever. But Plato got the, the story from his uncle Cylon. Cylon made a journey to Egypt in 600 BC, and that's actually on written record. His visit to Egypt in 600 BC. That's actually on written record. You know I mean? So most people say the story of Atlantis. Plato made all that shit up. But from written record to make believe, the story that Solon got in Egypt when he went in 600 BC was of the tale of Atlantis. And he asked the people there, when did this happen? How long ago was this society? Where, where did they go? They, and they told him then in 600 BC that it was 9,000 years before prior to that. That exact timeline and date lines up with the, the geographical data and everything they find it now about this great um, cataclysm on the earth at that time, which in that is called the Younger Dryas. Same way you spell Younger Dryas. Google it. Look it up, people. I'm just giving you interesting shit to go on a rabbit hole with. Go, go, teple. Go, 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 power. Go, beble. Go, go. G O B E B L I T E P I. Go, 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 gadget. Go, gadget. Go. Go tapestry. Go. As you Google uh, whether or not Padawan can say go bag lit, go bag tap it. Um, <laughs> go bag that. Go bag that. Go bag that tablet. I'll tell you something. Is that, that And uh, it's how we starting to show off tonight. Uh, let's go down the rabbit hole with the G O O D and fuckery. Oh. Good fuckery. Well, y'all already know it's episode 102. Good and buggery. Good and buggery. I'm done too. This dead beard is exploded. Who knows with your sleeve? Oh, big rat, little rascal's ass. <laughs> oh, big kid. <laughs> God damn, <it's> Frodo. This <laughs> shit exploded, man. You baby girl. I'm in the way you make me feel today. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna start the good and fuckery off with some controversial good. It's good, but it's controversial. All right, let's start it off. Ramesses Ja and Quentin Ward. Where is Ja? Who? <laughs> Ram Ramesses Ja and Ram Quentin Ward. Ramesses. Ramesses Ja and Quentin Ward. Okay, Quentin Ward sounds like a normal name. I'm going to stick with Quentin. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ramesses Ja sounds like somebody that's like in the Umar sector. Yo, uh, you you heard? Yo, you see where my mind went? I was yeah, like, yeah, like where is Ja? What's happening? Where is Ja? Where is he? I tell you where Ja is. This him, him, and Mister Ward went and actually trademarked the phrase "White Lives Matter" and plans on selling it. To the NAACP or another black organization. And that is why, one of the reasons why Ye can't really sell shit with his white, black, white Lives Matter shirt. But somewhere down the line, they ended up trademarking White Lives Matter. So if anytime somebody actually tries to use it, they have say if they can use it or not. <sighs> 
What? What? What are we doing here? What are we talking about? What he did? What? Ramesses and Quentin. Um. All right. What I'm gonna say is, please stop doing stupid shit to serve you, saying that it's for the black race. This is not. Mm-hmm. This was not for us. This was not for NAACP. This was for them to try to get some type of profit off of some bullshit. Like mm-hmm. let's let's just say what it is and and keep it there. Like nigga, no. Nobody wanted the white lives matter. When you, hold on, why am I echo? I don't hear the echo. I hear it. Hello. Yep. Maybe. Uh, it might be right. on your side. Tripping. Um, but um yeah. Where no, is Ja? I feel like it's coming out of somebody else's speaker. Like somebody got me on speakerphone. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, but yeah. Um whatever I was saying, I said that and I and I meant that. <laughs> that where is Ja? <laughs> where is Ja? So, uh, you know what? Let me just segue from that. We- Talking about it for us, though. Like we ain't, we ain't need White Lives Matter when it was on a yay T-shirt. We don't need it to be sold to NAACP. We really need it to just go somewhere and get away from us. Mm-hmm. We'll be fine without it. We straight. And nobody. Yeah, that's some old T-shirt. Who asked Somewhere. for that? We bought it, but we bought it so he could use it. Now we gonna sell it to the NAACP. You feel me? Like who? Who, it, who? Who was out here? Like, hey man, can we get that trade? Like nobody asked you for that. Clout chasing ass motherfuckers. Clout chasing ass motherfuckers. We tripping, yo. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I I don't see the purpose behind it. I see it as wasted money because you had to purchase that. Mm. Now, what if no one wants to buy that from you? Because I, I don't know who wants it unless it's a, uh, <clears throat> like what? No, no. It would be, it would ex- take that it shit would be an alt right. It would be like an alt right organization that would want it. Man, I'm going to be real with you. You know what I would like to see at this point? I, I'd be really cool with us just getting rid of all of the last matter because I feel like at this point it ain't doing it that. Is- the black doing them to causing trouble. Hey, coming up into controversy, the white lives matter just never needed to be a thing. Like I'm just, yo, I'm I'm about, I'm about like a lot of these little social justice movements and these little let's rally uh, these rallying behind shit. We people rallying behind some dumb shit. I'm good. I'm and that good. and and that and these organizations, man. Like sometimes I, I like. I just keep hearing different stuff. Like I hear that Black Lives Matter do one thing, and then I also hear that they be pocketing money. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's like, all right, yeah, you're doing it for Black people. It also seems like you're doing it more for LGBT. If with a Black Lives Matter, with Black people in the forefront of it, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then at the same time, you're pocketing the money. Just like I heard, um, what's that new? Um, Sean King or whatever. He, I don't say. After a while, if you being a social activist or whatever, I just feel like after a while, you're going to end up having to do something where you have to profit in order for you to keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? And And sometimes I just feel like some of these social activists are the equivalent of a lawyer chasing after an ambulance, if you get what I mean. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. It just it all depends. But uh, any final words before I uh, move on to the next subject from White Lives Matter? <laughs> you you good, brother? I think the lives can go ahead and not matter no more. Oh uh, yeah. Oh that that came out weird, but we oh, fuck it. To tell you the truth, I think we need to calm down on lives. I think we need to calm down on how many lives we actually start creating. Because according 
to the kill. census. No, I'm not trying to kill people, but according to the Census Bureau, yeah. next week, should actually in a couple of good. days, and in, in four in four days, um, November fifteenth is expected that the world population will reach eight billion. God. And the and I'm gonna tell you right now, I I'm, really believe hmm? a lot of fucking people. <laughs> exactly, I exactly, and I really do believe the main cause of why, like the one, the baby to bring it over to eight billion, is gonna be Nick Cannon's fault because he is set to welcome his twelfth <laughs> child. I thought he was done. Didn't he? Put no, up, and he was like, "I'm done, y'all." I, he must have skeeted right before he said I was done. Like I think he probably bust off and said after that, they tweeted, I'm done. Oh, he wasn't talking about he was done having children. He meant he was done nothing. Oh, at, done. at the time. At the time. Oh, at the time. Oh, at the time. He is single handedly. Yeah. <laughs> I see that. I seen this meme where they said what people gonna look like in the next in the next 50 years, and it all looked like Different races versions of like Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon, <laughs> child. he's like the Genghis Khan of our generation. Like, <laughs> like in thousands of years, he's gonna be like they gonna they gonna draw like eighty percent of the pop the world's population back to his gene. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you got that Cannon gene out there. <laughs> Cannon. <laughs> You want you want to be real rich, but always just be just corny for no reason. Just <laughs> shake that shit. He can't be he can't be too corny because I seen his baby mamas, man. There ain't nothing to like laugh at. Listen to me, son. When when you talking about corny, you can be corny and still get baby mamas if you got money. Well, he do got money. Yeah, you gotta, he do. You gotta understand what he got. He got money. He ain't he ain't poor. Now he corny, but he rich as fuck. So, you no. Know. And he's just giving out babies away. So I guess you know, man, you're gonna get. People, it's gonna not, be women that want to get that free check for the for the long haul. Just saying. Yeah, you know that. Yeah. Rich. So you know, if he can afford it, all right. Always in the out there. I always go back to like with the money thing like you you got the money to afford it but do you got the time to give to these 12 kids to make sure they don't grow up fucked up nope yeah, absolutely not that nigga's a millionaire businessman well you never know because if That's he if, if he want to have all of them kids he got a plan of move them up moving up all of them to the same place same town or same city <laughs> Can you have to make a Cannonville city. or whatever? <laughs> That's what he sound like. You can see all of them. They gonna have a compound like Boosie. Hmm. That's what he seemed like. He tried to make a city. <laughs> a city. Boy, he, he working on enough to have a full full football game by his damn self. He already got the Wu Tang Clan memberships. It's him and 15 more people. That's 16. I mean, what? Him and 12 more people. That's 13 kids. Shit, that's a starting lineup and two more two more for the next team. God dang. Be fruitful and multiply. But God dang, man. You you making it you making it packed. I, I say this though, like at it's some kinda... point, um have some self-control, bro. If I can pull out, you can pull out, bro. You <laughs> make prophylactics, man. Fuck out of here, man. It's, it's, they got female condoms, IUDs. They got all these different types of birth controls. They got regular condoms. They got... You like, get all, that tingle before you go? Like, when I get that tingle, I'm just like, hey, all right. I don't love you that much. Come on, bro. It's, 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 I can pull out. You can pull out. <laughs> and... On top of that, everybody, every all right. So he don't, he might not necessarily need to be another, a daddy to another child, and every woman don't need to be a mother. Mm -hmm. Like, are we vetting and screening these women to make sure that they gonna actually be competent mothers? Because oh, you gonna have to be around because you gonna be somewhere on wildin', wildin'. 
They in the class, huh? Boom, 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 boom. We need to revoke. We need to revoke Nick Cannon's penis license. <laughs> you got too many kids in the classroom. You need to put a lid in the classroom. Shit. We need to get rid of the classroom. Sit your ass down for an intervention. That nigga is the classroom. <laughs> hey, come out the classroom. Hey, kick out the classroom. Shit. Fuck out of here. Yeah, oh, man. Nick, you having too many kids. Stop. Just stop. Just stop. Mm-hmm. Use a prophylactic, my friend. Use a prophylactic. Man, that's all they got them. They got them in so many different shapes and sizes and forms. And you could have a girl wear it. You can wear one. Like it, it, it ain't like if you feel uncomfortable, have her do something. But God damn it, is what. Look, me and my wife got one kid, and I've been busting in them walls for years. There's ways to make sure you don't have no kid and still get your get your get your your viscous countenance. There's ways to do it. You can do it if you want to do it. You might just want to get yourself checked, dog. Yeah. Like, like. You can shoot the club all the fuck up and still have some shit right. I ain't getting yeah. shit with the same woman for years. My shit, hey, hey, nigga. We good. I also have to get checked every year for my physical stuff, so I make sure I'm clean as a whistle. But outside of that, no, I just be buzzing in the wife. I don't really worry about it, about it at this point. Like, uh, yeah. See when you see Pat, when you invest in the time as like I have, you you gotta understand at this point, anything we bring home, it's part of the family now. So if you bring home an STD, whoever gave that to you, they gotta come in and pay bills now. They gotta come in and contribute because now they part of the family. So we're just gonna incorporate all that. I I get her, I get some some bring this up in the house. Then then damn it, now we got a sister wife. So we either gonna have some sister wives or some brother husbands, but what we ain't about to do is fuck this up. So at this point, like, I, I, yeah, I ain't, I ain't about to be worried about it no more. Like I can just ski freely. Ski <laughs> freely. Uh, yeah, like at this age, like I'm, at, uh, bro. Put it on the t-shirt. Just don't give it to Nick Cannon. Don't, bro, you don't gotta give that shirt to Nick Cannon. Since oh, since this is since oh six, buddy. Pause. <laughs> You know what I mean? I I have been married for for eight, been with her for sixteen. Oh yeah, we we we. Yeah, that's a that's an extra we, amount of confidence we, that you we, in. Club, we've got the club up. We've burned the club down. We've knocked the club around. We've we we've, we've, we've church in the club. We've thoroughly <laughs> renovated the club. The club is lit. Okay, the club is so, lit. Like, Sound like that Chris Rock skit. <laughs> oh, well, when I understand me, that, uh, yeah, we live in the club. We, Bro, we, let me, let club. Me, we go to church in the club. Be the marriage ambassador. When I tell you, like, it, it's nothing more freeing than having viscous innards to just unleash at will and and have no qualms about what could happen. Like, just ah. yeah. Hey. Thanks, babe. <sighs> Marriage. Yeah, it's great. We to, yeah, we don't even need a towel. We just let that, you know, simmer. <laughs> Marriage. Yeah. On, it's delicious. On comic we say, you know, just lay there happy in the wet spot. God damn right. <laughs> That's what that should be the marriage banner right there. Like you get the lady happy in the wet spot. You ain't got to worry about what's in the wet spot because it's just you and her, her and you. What your what your parents? You don't know where they come from. I know where she come from. I know where I come from, and we come together. (laughs) That's all. We together. I, was, I was about to sing that shit, but I thought it was gonna be. A, I, I said it's gonna be a pause moment. They're gonna I pause. Not moment. You not. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> the music came in my head. Pause, pause, pause. No, man, it was great minds thinking alike, man. We was all on the same side. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, all we right. all this shit, Pod Squad. You know it. That's all that was. That's all that was. Boy, right. yeah, and it's gonna get worse because guess what? We got a live stream after this, y'all. So if yeah. you watch and listen to this, make sure you go over to our YouTube channel and can't check out the live stream. Over. It's gonna be interesting. Next on the good and fuckery, the yay report. Oh, shit. all right. The latest video from yay, we're gonna just cut this short because Kanye yeah. takes too much. Of our lives. <clears throat> he is he is making all the Illuminati conspiracy theorists happy as fuck right now. Oh Lord, what is because he basically admitted uh, I can say what I want. Um Forbes had to admit, even though they dropped me out of all these deals, I'm still four million strong. 400 million strong, excuse me, before he comes out of nowhere. And within that rant, it's like, Four, he can't say nothing. Huh? He's still 400 million? Yeah, he's still 400 million. So he's not the richest black man no more, though. He's not the richest black man no more, but he's still a rich black man. Yeah. He should be happy for that, you know what I'm saying? He should be humble for that. Yeah, Do I see was- that one? <clears throat> I would I I did see in the video that he, he took it as God humbling him, which in my opinion I have to agree that is probably literally God humbling you. But I after wouldn't. that, after that, he said, um, "Is nothing um, nothing holding me back now? My mom is gone. My mom was sacrificed." And as soon as he said that. You, you know, that's been a rumor that's been going on with the Illuminati conspiracy yeah. for the longest time. So, yeah, yeah, man, get the fuck out of it. Yo, listen, mm. plastic surgery is a dangerous process. Yep. A lot of people don't realize that, that, that actual surgery is dangerous, but then the recovery is also dangerous if your body is not ready, if you're immunocompromised, if you're over a certain age, if you get a certain procedure in the wrong part of your body. Like, there's a lot that goes into that. So, like, I ain't about to sit here and go with no conspiracy theory on that. I'm going to just say that what happened happened. What has not happened is that Kanye has not processed the death of his mother well, and I believe that contributes to a lot, like a lot of what he expresses in these rants and just his behavior over the past few years. Like, Believe like he misses mama and he don't know how to like just process that so he keep you know he's struggling. Yeah. He to just we need to just leave him like the, the whoever's around him that keep giving him access to these like take his phones, take his computers, take his tablets, take his watches, take his little whatever that little device is he made, take all of that shit and just let him it's, go it's, for, uh, treatment facility and get right i put it this way everybody that i've seen that um has interviewed him so far outside of um nori after the nori i haven't really seen anybody of our complexion interviewing him i feel like it's really everybody outside of our complexion interviewing him to get some type of reaction to get some type of views because when i listen to these videos they don't have that black bass in their voice right when i listen you don't always see them you just see kanye but when you hear them have the questions they either sound like they're foreign or they don't got that black bass in their voice so it's they wouldn't care to understand why it would be a wrong it is wrong to even approach him right now. That man has been healing for the past 10, 15 years, ain't nothing healed yet. Yeah, people need to stop putting a mic in his face and just let him. Yeah, like, his healing looks it's, like it's getting like, it's getting to be just like it's been sad, but it's just like pitiful now. Like I, I just got sympathy for the like it, it's yeah. sad. 
because it's getting worse and he just keeps on people just keep on letting him put his foot in his mouth without loving it like where are the people who love this nigga I mean, he might his mouth might have drew, driven him away, but yeah, he he's still healing. He got a lot to heal. It seems like it's not healing fast enough. He's he's his healing starting to look like the king off a of house of dragon. I thought you would like that little line, and and yeah, um, that's this week's Jay report. Oh, more leeches, please. He's not well now. Uh, also, along with that, hey, Dave Chappelle, um. He um he hosted <laughs> SNL like Saturday Night Live this weekend. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. The monologue was hilarious. It's like he is so great at getting away with jokes that if anybody else would say it, everybody would have a problem with it. But if y'all ever if y'all get a chance, look at his monologues. You know, his SNL monologues are always all great. But I did catch the uh, skit he got where he did like the haters, but they was on House of Dragon. House of Dragon. Yeah, I saw that right <laughs> before we, we, we did the, the pod tonight. We, that nigga is stupid. He is. I see that nigga. You okay? I, as, face, 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 face over there. He smoked. Oh, I'm he doing smoked. great. <laughs> he, he's Ooh. being the dragon. He's, he's being the dragon right there. Jacaris. <laughs> Imagine that, you know, every time you gotta roll a butt. Oh man, I don't got a lighter. The goddess. My God. Burn your fucking Dakotas. arm off. Get the blood. All your hair gone. <laughs> Look like Tyrell Biggums. Hey, man. Oh man. God dang, um, God dang, uh, Dave Chappelle and his impersonations and shit is just hilarious. Whatever. You know what other impersonations have been hilarious? Twitter's impersonations. Um, Didn't they do Elon Musk? Uh, he got, I put it this way. Banned the dude off of that shit. We're going to, this is the repercussions of Elon Musk and his ego um, buying Twitter. And thinking he can basically fire half a Twitter staff and then put some other verification crap, like Twitter blue verification crap to raise money up. You can get a, you can buy a blue check for your name for $8 on the Twitter blue verification. Man, but what people, people ass off to get verified. You can't just sell that shit for $8. That's what he's doing now. And I'm telling you, it has become the greatest. He's running Twitter. He's he he's running Twitter down. Like it's gonna end up like MySpace fucking around with (laughs) (laughs) fucking Elon Musk right now. Elon will be Elon will be on everybody's timeline looking like Tom. Tom, from what I heard, Tom is having to do when he's so uh my space, he's having the greatest time of his life, you know, oh, he, being a photographer. He's awesome he, right now. But yeah. Elon, um, I don't know what you're doing, but it is hilarious. The 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 downfall of Twitter is hilarious. These people are making fake accounts of celebrities and companies and verifying and just putting stuff out there. It was a fake LeBron James saying, Hey. I think it's time for me to trade. Uh, I'm, I'm, I appreciate the Lakers for all they do, but it's time to move on. Just like the real account, people don't <clears throat> pay to the rest of it. Yep, yep. And not mm-hmm. only that, this is how bad it's gotten, right? Because uh, I, I, I brought up this one example. There's a lot of examples of this, but this is one of the main, like, I would say the consequences of Elon's actions. Is this company called Eli Lilly or whatever? Mm-hmm. Eli Lilly is a like a medical pharmaceutical company and they actually supply insulin. So mm-hmm. somebody impersonated Eli Lilly and <clears throat> and put out there um, and tweeted, we are happy to announce that insulin is free now. So the real Eli Lilly, they had a tweet. We apologize for the misleading message from that fake account 
their account is at LilyPad, right? <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> but the response to that is with everybody, um, <laughs> people have been getting on Eli Lilly the whole time and saying that um, we regret to inform you that we will not be giving away insulin, a publicly funded invention that was given away by its creator to be given away to people so they won't die. And because of that, their stock have gone down billions. Okay. Like the the I would say the um the backlash from people finding out about how insulin is ran. Mm. It, it crashed. It 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 went down. They went they went down billions. But I feel like this is this is some long overdue karma for the mm. pharmaceutical company. And there's other companies going through the same shit. Well, I say this, man. If you don't, if you don't initiate <clears throat> the practices, nobody ever tries to go at you. Like, you don't ever hear about people going at companies that like treat people right. You only hear about people going at companies that like always got some fucking shady shit in their past. So, like, I mean, the chickens will come home to roost. And if mm-hmm. you don't, shit like sell something that was supposed to be free mm-hmm. then you should, you should get a little comeuppance like you had your chance to live like fat rats and you know live like kings and now it's your time to come on down to the peasants and hey what's up you fucked over the people now you gotta walk amongst them same people and mm-hmm. hey man you, you gotta can't face the facts on no <clears throat> level a small level or a large level whether you a big corporation or whether you just an individual, like you can't treat people wrong and expect not to have nothing happen to you at no point. Like, yeah, they deserve it. I uh Thank sorry you. for for that work there that like ain't had nothing to do with the fuckery that it impacts. That's the fuck that that's the collateral the collateral damage is the horrible piece. But the company itself, what <clears throat> yep. Um, what else they said? BP, BP got it. You know the gas station mm-hmm. said they uh <laughs> they put BP Global is verified, but if you look at the at name, it's at BP D's nuts. But they put up just because we killed the planet doesn't mean we we can't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> BP D's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> they got they got. Nintendo, Nintendo of America. It was a fake Nintendo of America, and they got they got Super Mario flicking people off. <laughs> Which Trevor Noah says makes no sense because he's Italian. If he's Italian, he wouldn't flick nobody off. He'll go like this. Here we go back to be these nuts. Oh yeah, I want to see it. Look. That's hilarious. That is fucking hilarious, bro. <laughs> BPDs, <man. laughs> You know I like that uh, little ass shit. Oh, yeah. That's oh, a what a uh, that's a good time. Somebody imitated George Bush, and and under the uh, you know, like on the Twitter page, they got like the bio right under it and everything. And under, <laughs> under there, he said, so what if I did 9-11? And then he put out a twi- tweet that says, <laughs> I missed unaliving Iraqis. And then Tony Blair retweets it. A fake Tony Blair retweets it and says, same, to be to be honest. Oh, that's wow. It's getting bad. Like, it's, it's bad. Somebody <laughs> imitated oh, Ron DeSantis. Ron De- <laughs> Somebody yep. imitated Ron DeSantis. He said, Ron DeSantis, I am your... Under his bio, it says, I am your God now. Trump is a little bitch. Top accomplishments. 82,541 Floridians dead from COVID. Unaffordable housing, collapsing property insurance market. Mm. <laughs> like, this is this shit is awesome. This shit is great. I don't care. Great. 
I, I don't care. It's not Twitter's not mine for me to care about it. So <laughs> <laughs> that's some real shit. That is real I'm not. I'm. I mean, yeah. If 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 Twitter is gone tomorrow, it really. The only thing I'm gonna miss is Black Twitter. Now, Black Twitter is a fucking gem. It's hilarious. <laughs> I see some of the wildest shit. Like that's the one social media that since we started the podcast, I actually can interact with because it'd be like people just be saying wild shit, and I always get the good shorts from other. Oh, places. and Man. the threads, the threads from Black Twitter are awesome. Like you get some of the greatest stories. Our people ain't shit. <clears throat> <laughs> we we the shit, but we ain't shit. So terrible. you know what it is. You Piece know what it is. Shit on there, bro. Like what in the hell? Um, no pun intended, but oh. dark humor. Black people. Black people don't recognize that we have a lot of dark humor with us that probably is built from trauma. But if you, but the ironic thing about it, if you think of dark humor, you don't think of black people at all. Nope. You don't. But if you look at some of our tweets, that is nothing but pure, unadulterated black humor mixed in with sarcasm. Yeah, we're not good people. <clears throat> we try to as hell. Laughter has become part of our therapy. But. <laughs> On that note, um, that's the good and fuckery for this week, episode 102. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. Um, and keeping with the good and fuckery and keeping with trifling. Um, I came across this clip uh this past week and I kind of just wanted to play it and get y'all take on it and have a discussion on it. I had a couple questions on it. Um, so yeah. Watch this and then let me know what y'all think. Part of the show, we've got a goodie. We've got a goodie. The guy's name is DM and he says, Question for Ish or Joe. Oh, God, I said that. <laughs> no, 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 no. You get a picture. Talk. <laughs> What's good, y'all? I'm in a situation with my wife. She went through my phone one day and saw that I was active on Instagram, Instagram liking, liking pictures, pictures, messaging, messaging other, women. other women. I told her this was my ego and apologized. She, we tried to move past it, but she can't get over it for three, three months. months. To me, to me this, this isn't, isn't a big deal, and nothing, nothing to end the marriage, marriage over. She said, she said it was still cheating, cheating and grounds for divorce. I wanted, I wanted to see why she was, she was so passionate, passionate about, about it. So, so I went, went through her phone and see her, and doing, her doing the exact, exact same thing. thing. I'm, in I'm in a spot. We have, we have two kids, kids and I'm a six-digit six earner, earner in Texas. Texas. She, she wants, wants me to instantly, instantly forgive, forgive her, her, but I thought, thought this, this was cheating. cheating. What, what should, should I do? do? Uncle, Uncle Pod? Such a tough situation. So, I got two questions all for that. First of all, is that cheating? And second of all, what are the social media rules when you're dating or married? Uh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, Lord. Um, you... <laughs> first of all, first off, um, I think that's totally dependent on the two individuals in that said relationship and their individual comfort zones with said social media. Now, we all know some of us are more advanced in social media nowadays than others. So, to some people who are novice, some things may not be, and they should be totally innocent. But to other people who are more advanced, they may see those same innocent gestures as something else because on their level of it, of engagement on social media, it means something else. You feel me? So... Unless there's a common understanding between the two individuals, it'll always be some fractured understanding of it. So I feel like in a relationship, there should be like sad to say, but it has to be like a conversation on like what each other considers cheating on social media. Now, an obvious thing for me would be like messaging somebody of the opposite sex on some old, if it ain't about business, like some business. You have no need to be 
messaging said person. You feel me? Like unless it's like an old friend and you just saying hi, catching up or some shit like that. That's understandable. I can understand that because I ain't no insecure ass nigga. But if it's on some other type shit, then of course it's on some other type shit. Um, as far as as far as liking pictures, I really don't see nothing wrong with liking pictures. But it it is dependent on the type of picture. I would say. You feel me? If it's if you go if you happen to go on your wife's or your girlfriend's social media and I don't know how to find out how, what how a person likes a picture unless you log on to their shit, I guess. Um, so you happen to log on their shit and you see they like some dude picture. Okay, he was at the beach, chilling at the beach and looking at the sunset. No problem. But take the same dude and you take him posing in some lewd ass pose and she liking it and putting the comments and other shit. Then that's grounds to be like, hey, what's the fuck? Up? What's up with that? That's like flirting. You feel me? Like, so shit like that could be looked at on that type of level by anybody. But when you come to the 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 expectations of an individual, say I, um, I don't really fuck with social media. And in my household, like, if it ain't about business, we don't fuck with social media. So that's just that. Um. With every couple, I feel like as social media has advanced, issues have arrived by each on each individual about something social media, unless it's been a mutual understanding. So I feel like those conversations have to be had in this day and age. Ten years ago, no, nah, I don't feel like ten years ago you had to have a social media conversation because it was in its infancy and it was innocent. People weren't trying to use it to do the modern day dating thing because dating. And Courtney has moved to online. So the same things motherfuckers was being accused for doing in person, you can be accused for doing digitally now. So well Pat, I definitely want to hear your take on it. You being the more the more social media savvy person and kind of being the person that's had to navigate social media as it's changed and as a single person so you've had to like really interact with it but i will say 10 years ago well i don't know how many years ago it was probably about 10 years ago i got in trouble on social media for some way more benign than this like i just told a girl that she was pretty not that i wanted to be with her not that hey let's get together nothing like that and we established right then like all right, on social media, uh, it ain't no telling nobody they look nothing. It, it, it keep that shit professional. So that and that was ten years ago, before the boom of TikTok, before Instagram took off like it is now. Like you know, people was posting pictures, but it was more like it really was more like just social interaction still back then. I feel like so like I can only imagine now that it's like. Yo, don't like shit. Don't look. Just scroll. I, I, I treat that shit like you walking down the street, and don't don't get caught staring at nothing. Like like it is like staring, and then if you get to DMing or hollering, that's like you hollering at them. So like, just don't do nothing. Like just scroll and keep that shit pushing. <laughs> but Pat, what say ye on this? And what are the social media rules? Can't hear shit you sound. Is he speaking? Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. His mouth moving, pause. <laughs> <laughs> Must be BPD's nuts. <laughs> pause on that, please. Pause on that. Did you hear, did you hear me say pause on that? <laughs> no. Now we do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got God dang it. All right. So what I was saying, it all depends on your relationship. All right. Um, I, from what I remember on that video, he said he actually admitted to the girl that the only reason I did it was on some ego shit to see if I still got it. Right. Or whatever. 
And then when he found out that she did it, it was the same thing, pretty much. It's just that when she found out about him doing it, she blew it out of proportion. But when he found out that she did it, or, or whatever, he she wants him to just like forgive him. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say it all depends on your level of understanding within your relationship. Because if y'all both flirtatious people or whatever, and you don't really care what the other what she does or whatnot, y'all, because y'all know that y'all gonna be with each other every day and you got that much confidence in each other, it really don't if you say if you like a picture on Instagram or whatever or or any other social media or put in a comment or whatever, it might not mean anything to that particular type of couple or whatever. Yeah. But if if you're a couple and you're um I would say you treat all of that the same way as if you were out and about, then you don't do it pretty much. The thing is though, people wouldn't even know anything about who likes what if it wasn't for when you go on that picture right under there whoever you know that you follow is going to show if they liked it or not that's real you know what i'm saying like so if you're scrolling down and you see a picture and and you you you're a woman and you see this scantily clad woman and the next thing you know the guy you're talking to is known as one of the people that like that picture and shit. That's what happens. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you say- just have have to have that understanding between you and your partner when y'all get serious before y'all jump into it. To me, in my mind, like, in my mind or, or whatever, I, I've been in social media, so I don't really for so long that it really doesn't matter to me or whatever and um in and, and general and, and the, usually the people that I hang around with they and they know social media the way it is so they don't really care about it them, themselves but it all depends on the person you know what I'm saying like it if I get real uh serious with a person my mind might change about that Right. Or whatever, because I don't got serious with it. It's not it's one of those things like, all right, I need to talk to you again because we don't get to this level. And I know we're still doing the same thing we've been doing, but we got to this level and now I'm feeling some type of way. Yeah. So I want to make sure that you're feeling the same type of way when I like somebody picture. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But but it, feel- it's the same. It's the same with any other, just like with any other like relationship. It's just now we have technology to it. I feel I definitely agree that you need to have an understanding. I think it starts with like when you're first dating, before y'all even get to the point where social media is a thing y'all worried about with each other. When y'all just, hey, how you doing? What 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 are we doing here? How you uh do I like you all that? Like have them conversations about boundaries right then. Like, hey, uh, so this is what I consider cheating. This is what I consider to be stepping over the line or disrespectful in a relationship. What do you consider that? Like, uh, how do you feel about that? Uh, what's our compromise here? But like, I get them shit out of the way. I feel like now more than ever, it's so many ways you can step across the line. So intentionally or unintentionally, just because of the access that people have to each other, like the average dude back in the day didn't have access to as many women at one time. Uh, even against his, like even without him trying to have those the access to those women, like they're having access to him. So like mm-hmm. it puts him in a position. Women didn't have as much access to as many men as they now do. So like you could have the girl that used to be like just a regular girl in her small town, but now because she has access to more media. attention and that, and that like it's just a whole lot of different dynamics that social media yeah. brings. So I think them boundaries set is vital. But I also think that like these days in 2022, if you're going to be a filthy person out here that's a cheating woman or a cheating man, don't use social media. 
Like, don't use technology because technology track everything like that. The number one way people get caught in marriages and all kinds of shit are ruined is because of technology. They, they saw it on your iCloud. They saw they they caught that they read the email. They saw the DM. They got ex- you you didn't you didn't DM the wrong woman and she didn't exposed all your shit on the online. You didn't do you you didn't like you know what I mean like you, you didn't holler at the wrong dumbass. Got mad. Your dumbass cheated you know, and you like, got a like, family playing with your wife. Bro, like it, it, it just like it's not worth it. So like if you're gonna be that filthy, at least take the time the extra time to like find a way to do that shit in person. I don't know how you're gonna do it. And, and, and even then, like find one of them little uh them little phone holders that they use at like the uh at like the Dave Chappelle uh comedy show and stuff where, where you, you can't have your phone. And had old have, have like NDA set up. Like you gotta have a whole legal system set up to <clears throat> if you nasty now. Like you can't just be out here slanging. Cause you gonna get caught. It ain't no if and like this shit is like the feds now, man. Like everybody is the feds. Mm-hmm. You are always one Google away from having even all if, your shows. even so if like, they're not trying to be, bruh. It ain't even worth it no more. Like these days, you got two options to me. Well, three options. You can either A <clears throat> monogamous if you go and go ahead and be with somebody. You can be be a nasty motherfucker and cheat, but don't use social media or any other technological uh apparatus. Or you can see be single as fuck. And just tell everybody, hey, I'm just out here trying to do the do and do your damn thing and have no worries about anybody caring about your life because I ain't yours and you ain't mad, so don't worry about my likes. But you got them three options to me if you're going to date. Also, be wary about the type of person that you have that um, if they do any business on social media, like if they're a content creator and you a jealous type, Realize they're a content creator. They're online because that's what they do. Whatever. Mm-hmm. I, I'd be real confused with I've I've seen situations where people are I've seen a woman brag about having someone that's a content creator, but be mad that they're doing stuff online. Like, yeah, like that, that mm-hmm. yeah. As, as hell. You you actually, in matter of fact, I've seen that person actually talk to that person because what they were a content creator. Yeah, that's real stupid. Like, yeah, that's that's the equivalent of the girl that wants wife, a rich uh, dude get the the trapper <laughs> and then be mad that he's trapping. You knew know this before you and accept it or don't, but, but don't, but yeah. but. Acceptance out of the way early, 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 like before y'all had really yeah. started. Like, say no, nope, yeah. I this ain't gonna be my life. Like, I, that that give everybody more respect. That give people an out clause before shit get too deep. And you can't say yeah. I, I'm out. And that goes for the dudes that go after the baddies. If you go after the girl, you see on no, Instagram, be and you shit see, going. you see all the likes that she has. Going on, and you gonna have to deal with all of that shit going on. Mm-hmm. Might have to deal with an OnlyFans account. Know that. <laughs> bio link in bio. It's booking information. She right. don't. She don't play right. guitar. She don't sing she a might, song. She might get flewed out to uh, Abu Dhabi or goddamn Dubai a couple of times. You might see some old rich guy in the background that look like he does not fit in the equation or whatnot. <laughs> but do not but do not get online and start acting like you're Kanye. He's <laughs> just my sponsor. He got a brand deal for me. Mm-hmm. He got a brand deal, all right. And a brand on that ass. Anyway. Uh, I'm in that. <laughs> But so yeah, what you getting into? You know what you're getting into? Yes, that can be considered cheating. And leave social media alone if you're gonna be nasty. Mm-hmm. It, 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 it's often said that social media is the devil. 
Anything could be the devil, though. If the wrong, stupid motherfuckers go to it, anything could be yep. the goddamn devil. In the wrong hands, anything could be turned into a weapon. And that mm-hmm. is why media is the devil, because it's full of dumb people that don't know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, I, and I think that's a good place to leave it, fellas. Let's not be dumb out here this week, my people. So, Pod Squad, make sure you support the partners. You see it at the bottom of your screen. If you're listening, let me tell you about it. Give us money at Cash App, Golf Time, Project is One, or go to buymeacoffee.com, buymeacoffee.com backslash the partners, and you can donate there for as little as a dollar. You can also sign up for a membership there. Give you can us also money. Be a monthly supporter and give us money every month on Spotify for four ninety nine a month. Um, but yeah, give us money. And <laughs> if you want to give us money and get some stuff back, Face will tell you the process to do that because some things are going on and shaking up. Face, tell them about the yeah. merch. Yeah, 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 yeah. So don't forget the damn store name. It's ArtreeClothing.com. 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 A R T R E clothing.com. Coming right back at you. We had some technical difficulties with the site, but we're coming back at you real soon. Say don't forget the, don't oh. forget the damn name. Tell them again. Artreeclothing.com. The only place you can get official pod squad merchandise the partners podcast merchandise and the only place you can get ac83 merchandise rtrayclothing.com and rep that shit get that shit rep that shit. why buy buy where and then uh yeah pat how they gonna get in touch with us well once you get once you get your ac83 and you put on your shirt or whatever you know Put it up there on Instagram, whatnot, and all your social medias. Feel free to tag us in at, at T H E P O D N A S. That might be the one picture that you can get a like of, a uh, like with that you won't get in trouble with. Putting it out there, but at T H E P O D N A S, that's the Twitter, that is the Instagram, that's the TikTok, that's the Twitch, and we're on Facebook as Tiz Face Pat, all the partners. Yes, sir. And, uh, the, po- the website will be back up soon. With us having some technical difficulties. I cannot figure out what the hell is happening, but I'm, um, I'll have that set back up uh, within the next couple of days. So, uh, thepodness.com for all of your needs from the pod squad. Um, and yeah, keep supporting on YouTube. Uh, we're, we're still working on those watch time hours to get monetized. Uh, thank you to all 1,010 or 12 or 11. I can't really tell day to day it switches. But thanks you to all of you who have subscribed there. Please tell a friend, share, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, man, as always, I have been one third of the partners. I'm your boy Tiz. And I've been along with. It's the other third of the partners, the intergalactic one, the Padawan here. And I'm along with. With that, the lane is facing the place. Finish the race. Live coming soon. We'll be back at you, man. Yes, sir. And guess what, y'all? Motherfuckers! Peace! Have a great week. Love y'all niggas! One hundred! Get in the water!